This video is sponsored by my monochrome presets. Thank you to everybody who has purchased them and helped support this channel. The link is in the description. The Leica M11 monochrome might be the most unique camera on the market today. A $9,000 black and white only rangefinder camera that doesn't shoot video. And I think it might be the perfect stills camera for me. This camera is amazing. I love the way that it looks. I love the way that it feels to shoot with and I love the results that you get from it. But the only thing <laughs> that really holds it back for me is it's Let's get into some of the specs of it. And for me, one of the biggest specs that it that stood out for this camera was the 200,000 ISO performance. And I did run a test at 200,000 ISO and it is really noisy. But this the noise on the M11 monochrome isn't like digital noise that you're thinking of. It's more like film grain. Uh, if I can even say that, I think it like it feels weird saying that, but it's almost pleasing. It's really interesting. Uh, the latitude that you get with this ISO on this camera is second to none. It is quite literally incredible at letting in light. 20,000 ISO felt like better than 3,200 on most digital cameras. It was, it's quite literally in, it's incredible. One thing to note though with these monochrome files is the new uh, Lightroom Denoise AI feature is not compatible with it yet. For the metering mode, I used highlight weighted metering because the Leica M11 monochrome is definitely not exempt from the highlight clipping. <laughs> It, it doesn't handle highlights very well, but this camera handles shadows incredibly well. So I underexposed everything. And then when I was editing, I just raised it to the proper exposure and saved all of that highlight detail in the skies from bright lights, whatever it may be. Um, the shadow detail that it retains is obnoxious. I brought this photo that was almost complete darkness all the way to a usable image and it looks beautiful and it's a 60 megapixel image it's just it is quite literally magic at this point point. and this is without any of the ai denoise feature the picture quality on this camera is incredible i mean i it, it almost feels unreal uh when i look back at these photos that this camera even exists and uh I, I just loved shooting with it because the image quality from those 60 megapixel sensors was just, it was like being in a, in a different world. Sometimes black and white feels like you're in a different world already and then you throw such high image quality onto it and it, it's really a beautiful, beautiful combination. Um, the design follows the exact same design as the M11. And it, I, I think that it's perfected the rangefinder digital experience. Um, I shoot with an M10 and I really enjoy it, but I definitely felt the limitations that the M10 has, specifically uh, the menu system, which sounds weird because I was not in the menu system very often at all with this camera because you can adjust almost everything externally with the ISO dial, with the shutter speed dial, and with the aperture ring on your lens. So you're not spending a whole lot of time on your in your menu system. The only time that I was out in the field and actually intentionally switched out of single shot mode for my drive mode was I was walking around, there were a bunch of guys that looked like they were gonna jump off of the pier into the lake and I wanted to get a, a photo of it and I knew that I wanted to move quickly with it so I changed from single shot to high speed burst and that was the only time that I used high speed burst or anything other than uh, single shot drive mode and 
it worked really well. I got the shot and here it is. <laughs> they actually ended up throwing a kid into the lake from the lower level. They, they This is a kid pulling him in, but I love that you can see the uh, both buildings of the lighthouse in the background. The lines are kind of all leading in and all the phones and just people gathered around watching it. When you look at the these images, one of the big things that stands out, I, I just, I feel like this is such a special camera because the skin tones are, it's sharp yet smooth light is just, it, it, it really interprets light beautifully. Um, which is, I mean, like I said earlier, it's, it is almost an unreal camera because of its capabilities when you take away the option of color. I did do some film scanning with it, which was mostly just for fun, but I think if you have the camera and you shoot black and white film, why not scan your black and white film with it? I was really, really impressed with it. And scanning film with a rangefinder is kind of weird, but it worked and I was happy with the results. If you want to check those out, I did make a short video right over here. One of the things that I found incredible about this, and I really learned about it when I was doing, doing it, using it for film scanning, uh, because I like using the rangefinder when I, when I shoot. I'm not really a live view kind of guy with a when you have a rangefinder camera, but the focus assist on this camera is really, really good. Probably the best focus assist I have ever used. And I, it just really was really responsive and really enjoyed using the focus assist. Um, I used this camera how I would use it if I owned it. I used it as my everyday carry. I brought it with me everywhere I went. It was basically glued to me for those seven days. I think uh, Leica did something really special with this camera. I did test the different uh, resolution sizes, but I only did that with the film scans, mostly because I wanted everything to be at that 60 megapixels full uh, sensor because you could and honestly the big the big takeaway for me was even with the really high megapixel images the low light performance was spot on um honestly it's better than my sl2s at low light and it feels weird saying that because <laughs> it's it's almost triple the resolution of its sensor. But back to the design. So the design is the M11 classic design. Uh, it still has the same battery on the bottom and USB charging on the, on the bottom, which is, if you're being picky, it is very similar to the Apple charging port on the Magic Mouse, uh, which whatever, I mean, I just laid it on its back on a cushion or like on a soft surface and plugged it in at night and it was fine. But other than that, I think that Leica has really, really perfected the digital rangefinder with this camera. I think um, Leica has always kind of been known for their rangefinder system. And I think that this camera has really brought brought the digital rangefinder to the next level between the sensor between the experience of shooting with it and the USB-C charging the uh, image transfer via USB-C and the Leica Photos app I mean it's just it's a very up-to-date classic camera if that makes sense um, and it's just it's beautiful it is absolutely a beautiful camera but the only thing <laughs> that really holds it back for me is its price i just i can't afford to buy a nine thousand dollar camera right now and that is my major issue with this camera so sorry if that's a little bit of clickbait but the the rest of the camera really is amazing so is it worth that nine thousand dollar price tag um 
I'll let you be the judge. If you're shooting black and white film or you convert almost everything to black and white anyways, then yeah, maybe it is worth $9,000 for you to do that. I know I'm considering things that I could sell. My M10 is, will be on the chopping block when I'm, when I'm ready to make the switch. But honestly, there's, it, it was probably the most dangerous camera for me to rent because it i i'm just been thinking about how to get my hands on it again because it was a incredible experience to use it anyways if you enjoyed this video and you liked the way that these images turned out you can check out my monochrome preset it's down in the link in the description and i built it to not only work on the m11 monochrome but to work on every digital camera so check that out it is on sale and if you're still watching thank you so much for uh, sticking it out to the end and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and please like and subscribe it does make a huge difference so thank you and i will see you in the next video